Our world does not work the way you think it does. Two great alien forces vie for our solar system. One, a race of violent conquerors, skulks in the asteroid belt and around the rings of Saturn. The others, our protectors, our shepherds, guard our solar system against these invaders and protect the jewel in the crown of the solar system. But that jewel is not Earth. Behind our sun, in an opposite orbit, lies the counter Earth, the Antikathon. Gore. No, Earth is no prize. Its people are everywhere, crowded, diseased, primitive, apart from nature. They pollute their world. They destroy it, they burn, they despoil, they harm themselves, they live in a state of psychosis. Their violence threatens to engulf the entire world and burn it in moments, leaving nothing. But Gore is a living world of great mountains, of sweeping deserts, of open plains and dense living forests and jungles. It is a clean world, a natural world, kept in that state by the edicts of the enigmatic priest kings. It is also a savage world. Tales of Gore is the role-playing game of the Gorean Cycle, 34 books by John Norman. Set in a science fantasy world, separate from ours, across the gulf of space, on the other side of the sun. Based on the D6 system, Tales of Gore should support your heroism and allow you to stalk the counter-earth. From the gleaming towers of Ar, to the stinking swamps of the Vosk Delta, to the deserts of the Tahari, you'll be able to explore, fight, find a place for yourself in this alien world. Whether that place is digesting in the belly of a Thalarian, in chains, or at the top of the heap with bloodied blade having taken over a city, that depends on you.